Welcome to another English lesson. My name is Dave. I am your English teacher. Today we are studying might and infinitive and may and infinitive. These are modal verbs like will, won't, can, can't, should, shouldn't, must, mustn't. And they are modal verbs and like all modal verbs, plus infinitive, always. Now, may, may and might mean 50-50. They mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. For example, where will you go on holiday yeah. next summer? Where will you go on holiday next summer? Do you know where you will go on holiday next summer? Do you know? I don't know where I will go on holiday next summer. I don't know. I might go to Spain or I might go to France. I don't know. Yeah, so might means maybe, maybe. It means maybe I will go to Spain or maybe I will go to France. I might go to Spain or I might go to France. And you can say I may go to Spain or I may go to France. May is a bit more, a tiny bit more formal, formal. Look for this word in the dictionary if you're not sure about formal. May is more formal. Might is more informal, not formal. OK, so I usually say might because I speak informally most of the time. Ninety nine percent of the time I speak informally, I say might. So where will I go on my next holiday? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, present simple. Remember present simple? Don't in negatives. Yeah, negative, present simple. I don't know. Do you know where you will go? I'm not sure. I'm not certain. This means I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sure is an adjective. No is a verb. OK, sure is an adjective, which is why it's I am sure. I am sure. A hundred percent. I know or I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not certain. Also, I can't decide. I can't decide. Decide means to choose, to make a decision, to make a decision. So, for example, at first, at the beginning, I, or, I don't know. Uh, I might go to Spain. I might go to France. I might go to Italy. But then I decide. I decide and I think, OK, I decide to go to Italy. Yeah, I choose Italy. I decide to go to Italy. Yeah, I won't go to Spain. I won't go to France. I will go to Italy. I decide to go to Italy. I make a decision to go to plus infinitive. Yeah, I make a decision to go to Italy. I make a decision to travel to Italy. I make a decision to fly to Italy. OK, <clears throat> OK, I make a decision. Now you make a decision. Do you know where you will go on your next holiday next summer? Where will you go? And I want you to answer with might. Mm, I might go to Germany or I might go to Austria or I might go to Russia. Yeah, you choose. Yeah, might go, might go. OK. What will you do after our lesson? I might read a book. I might read a book. I might check my student's essay, my student's homework. Yeah, check, check. Teachers must check homework. 
it means I look at the student's homework and I see if I can find mistakes. Yeah, mistakes are bad English. Mistakes we cross out, yeah? So I check the homework for mistakes. I might check some homework. I might read a book. I might go to the shop, yeah? What will you do after our lesson? What will you do after our lesson? I want you to say, mm, I might do this, I might do that, I might do another, and then make a decision. Okay, I will read a book, I will check an essay. Okay, number three. What will you cook for dinner? What will you cook for dinner? I might cook spaghetti bolognese or I might cook sausages and eggs. I'm not sure. OK, I'm not sure, but I will decide. I will make a decision. OK, I will eat spaghetti bolognese.